What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Again, we're going to have a very difficult conversation regarding HBCUs. Now, let, let me say this. I went to an HBCU. I'm very proud to um, have went. I, I, I'm very proud that I was able to experience that. I'm proud that uh, of the work that HBCUs generally um, has done. Okay. However, HBCUs are problematic. I know brother Doug shout out to him. He went to Hampton, but listen, man, you know, dealing with HBCUs, I think it's very similar in living in, um, certain countries in the continent. Of course you have your, some days are better than others, but when you're dealing with a certain levels of incompetence, you're dealing with certain levels of corruption. It'll make you want to go ahead and rent out. And Ed Col- uh, Ed Reed, who went to Miami, became the head coach at Bethune Cookman. And I want to play a rant of what he had to say about trash being everywhere. But let's go ahead and play that. You want change around here? You saw the front of the building. Terrible. This the back of the building. They working on the front of the building. This the same people said we gonna help you build what you want. How I'm gonna believe you, man? How I'm going to believe them? Didn't I tell you I don't trust nobody? I'm coming over giving them the same passion and they smiling and laughing in my face. This ain't funny. We're going to ride through the fence that these, they ain't fixed the fence. We about to ride through this fence. This ain't even football side. This ain't even the football side. And y'all are talking about Madden. At my uncle Prime. Y'all mad at Dion, mad at Prime. This shit is every HBCU. Bro, we riding through the fence. This is track, bro. This is track. This is what they practice on. It's a straightaway. This is in a mirror field. You can't practice on this. These kids got this to work with. Trash. Yeah, I'm showing it. At this point, I got to show this shit. I'm not even the head coach. You're right. Don't trust nobody. Congratulations. Man, I should go my ass home. I said I should. I ain't. It ain't happening. Because of that lady right there. Because of her right there. Miss Mary, you see her with the cane? Coach Kane. That's what you call me. Coach Kane is who I am. Don't cry. Do something. Y'all see these buildings right here? You see these buildings right here? Y'all see these buildings right here? This corner? Y'all see this right here? This here? This shit is abandoned right here. They're hoarding trash in this shit. All this right here is trash. From this corner... All the way right here is trash. You understand me? Man, mutt your ass off here, man. What you talking about? I ain't mutt nobody. I'm trying to fix shit. What you doing? I told you somebody ain't going to like it, bro. I told you somebody wasn't going to like it. Do something about it, man. Come help us clean this shit up. I could have been mutting and showing shit. I chose not to. But now I'm out here walking with the football team, picking up trash. But I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. I should leave. 
I'm not even under contract doing this. I'm mutting us. Man, get out of here, man. They mutt me. These motherfuckers didn't even clean my goddamn office when I got here. I'm mutting y'all. Get your ass, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All this shit here was trash in front of me. Who you think got this shit cleared out? That building right there got trash in it. It's f***ing trash. What are you talking about? I need no goddamn donors to come out and help out because people just want money. That's why I don't, that's why I don't f*** with social network. F*** out of here, man. So that, that came out of frustration. I've done the same thing, right? Of course, you had to apologize. He says also he apologized to the university staff, his lack of professionalism, his language and tone were unacceptable, you know, and all this stuff, right? He's, he's, he's sorry. But he said Prime, Prime wasn't wrong. Now, the way he handled it was wrong. But we all know that he's right. See, this is the thing. When, when, when we as black people say things, it's the tone. You shouldn't say it like that. Okay, fine. You're right. Shouldn't say it like that. I made that mistake. But is he right? Yes, he's very right. I went to HBC. I can tell you he's right. Okay. These coaches and these, and when you're taking all these institutions, they're very poorly run. The AD is poorly run. He's poorly running things. The administration is poorly run. And these guys are coming from the NFL. Ed Reed, listen, man, Ed Reed in Baltimore was one of the craziest safeties of all time. Like, Deion got a chance to play. He got a chance to play with Deion Sanders toward the end of Deion's career. And, um, I mean, how many all pros do the guys do? He was the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. He's probably going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. He's in 2000s all decade team nine time pro bowler right nine time 64 interceptions okay the, the, like this guy this guy is a beast one of the greatest players of all time at that position okay you're lucky to have somebody of that level wanting to be on your team or coaching your team. And this is how y'all act. Y'all can't get it together. This is somebody that y'all, you should be thanking God that somebody wants to play with you or, or, or be over there like that with you. You should be thanking God. But y'all don't. Y'all don't. And, 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 and a lot of times, when black people get upset about what's going on and, and, and you tell the truth, it's so many times, I'll be honest, certain times I've been in certain places, what goes on is ridiculous. But if you say something, you got to apologize about it. Same thing in black America, which is I learned my lesson. Certain things, how I feel about certain elements that goes on in the black society, especially amongst the Pookie and Ray Ray class and single motherhood and crime. What I really might want to say, and, and thank God for the evolution and understanding what's going on a little bit more with the black community, but it's still, you're, you're still so disgusted, especially when you're seeing people making decisions, you know that that decision is not a good decision. And a lot of our uh, schools are performing at a low standard, trash everywhere. And he, he, he's exposing that, and that is wrong to handle it like that. But what he's saying is true. This is the reason why you have black students who no longer want to go to HBCUs. You have faculty who don't want to go to HBCUs, and it's the same problem that we face in many, uh, many of the African countries in the diaspora, in the Caribbean. Oh, come back to the continent and do this, or come back to the black community and do this. Come back to what? Exactly. Come back to what? What are we what are we gonna do there? You see? And 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 these are the people that need the help, but we can't even act like we got some sense. 
Sometimes you ain't even gotta have all the money for uh, your talented blacks to come in and help, but at least have uh, some pride in what you're doing. Can you at least have some pride in what you're doing? And a lot of times I'm seeing with some of the brothers and sisters, we can't even get that. You can't even get that. And I'm gonna tell you, it is a shame. It's a shame. You know, the neighborhood that I'm from, I love it dearly. I love it with all my heart, but it looks this very similar to what it did in 1982. If we really want to be real, it's no change. It is no change. And then now you're supposed to come near, all right, set up a business, try to work with the people in the community. What do you expect that you're going to get is my question. What do you expect? What do you think is going to happen? How do you think people are going to take you serious? I'm going to let you know right now, they're probably not going to take you serious. You don't want nobody to know that, right? But they're not. And then when you get upset, you know, because things don't work, institutions don't work, and let's say you're somebody highly qualified like an Ed Reed, you can't even do the simple things right for the man because you're, you don't even care that he's there. What is the per person, how are they supposed to act? If they don't say nothing, don't nothing change. If they get mad, then you know, well, you need to find a way to handle your emotions and apologize. But what about the fact that y'all not doing y'all work? Y'all not doing your job. It was a situation that I got, I want to talk about that happened to me recently. I had did, this in the last few years. It was an institution that I was dealing with in the private sector. These people, um, this is supposed to be a very professional uh, black team. They took like a week to give me this contract that I was paying for. Then the Negro, um, when we went to go pay for um, a certain thing, it was the wrong account number. When we looked at the occupation of what we're trying to get, they couldn't even find the key to open the door. These are people that have a million dollar deal, unlimited funding. I had to ask the guy, I'm like, bro, are you serious? Like you guys are professionals, man. This is how you guys do. How, what do you guys do? Are you guys adults or what? What's wrong with you? Literally, I had to ask the guy that because that is literally how bad it was. That's how bad it was. That's how sick people are. You know, which is fundamentally sad that you have to go through that. But such is what happens in the black world. It happens all over the black world where competent blacks have to suffer and be quiet about it. And then when you leave, all of a sudden you're selling out because you're not sticking with the blacks. Well, the, well, the, well, the, the community don't want to do the right thing every now, brother. We got to give people a reason why they should do business with us or why they should stay and help our community. We don't do a good job of that. And whenever somebody wants to call it out, it's, it's, it's a bad thing. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Slavery Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.